Home Athletes, happy Wednesday. We are doing one of our interval workouts like we tend to do about once a week or so, which means we work, then we rest, and we work, then we rest, and we work, so on and so on. We're doing five rounds total today. One round starts every four minutes. So what we're doing, ideally, we're looking to complete each round in three minutes or less, so we get at least a minute to rest before the next round starts. Now, each round consists of 50 double unders with a jump rope, 100 double dumbbell front squats, and 100 meter double dumbbell farmer carry. I'll start at the end there. So 100 meters, get that measured out at your, wherever you're working out, 50 meters down, 50 meters back. You'll be carrying your two dumbbells with you at your side, so it's a way to carry 100 meters. It should be pretty quick. Um, and then our front squats, right before that, we're doing 10 reps. We have our two dumbbells up on our shoulders, heels about shoulder width apart like we do. And we're gonna go 10 full squats. Not overhead, just let those dumbbells ride the shoulders. We're doing 10 reps right there. And then our rounds actually start with some jump rope. So as usual, depending on whether you can do double unders or whether you can do jump rope at your house or not. So 50 double unders as written. Um, otherwise, that can be 75 single unders, or it can be 25 lateral over the dumbbell hops. You've got your dumbbell on the floor, I would go across and back, that would count as one rep. We do that 25 times. Jumping station should take a minute at the absolute most, probably more like 45 seconds, hopefully. Front squats, two should be relatively quick somewhere in the less than a minute range. And farmer carry, that one probably take, definitely, probably a better part of the minute. So again, the whole deal comes in, ideally less than three minutes. Score today will be your slowest round out of the five, if you're interested in that sort of thing. The main thing we're shooting for today is consistency. We don't want to do like a really quick round, and then get slower and slower and slower. Ideally, I'd like to see five rounds that are probably all within, like, say, 10 seconds of each other. Fastest and slowest within 10 seconds. So consistency across the rounds. And then your core Tabata today. What do we have? We have Russian twists and we have tuck-ups. So all this week, we're doing Tabatas again like we did last week. But instead of the 10 seconds rest, we're actually adding 10 seconds of work in. That's right. You're welcome. Christmas has come early. So, Russian twist, we are looking to obviously sit on the floor. We can go leg straight or knees slightly bent. Personal preference there, I usually go leg straight. I like that better. Um, slightly lean back to engage the abs, and then you can do these without weight, just twisting side to side, or you can use a lightweight dumbbell, whatever you have right there, and then going side to side. What we're looking for there with the Russian twist is not so much just moving the weights or the hands back and forth. We actually want to twist at the midline right here. We want to engage you know, our obliques at the sides of our abdomen and going side to side. So yeah, no weight, works pretty well. With a weight, works a little bit better, a little bit harder anyway. So we're gonna do that for 20 seconds. And during the 10 seconds, which is normally rest, we're gonna do tuck ups. So we're gonna do our twist for 20 seconds, put that down and go, hands on floor and go immediately into tuck ups, which is a little more of a lower abdomen exercise. So we're going lower abdomen, back to our obliques. 20 seconds twist, 10 seconds tuck ups, eight rounds, four minutes, one spot up. From me to you, Merry Christmas. Um, have fun guys, get it done. I'll talk to you tomorrow.